since I've done a currently burning. So I figured today I'll take you around my apartment and show you what's going on now. So it's the middle of February. Um, it's not snowing today, but it's just like cold and blah outside. It's like typical gray winter. Like Valentine's Day is over. All the holidays are over. It's not like spring weather yet. So it doesn't like feel like Easter, even though it's Lent. And just, this is the time of year, like February, March. I don't really know what to burn. I don't, there's no like seasonal candles at this time of year for me. And every once in a blue, I'll like to burn a floral for spring, but I'm so not a floral type of girl. So I just kind of like go what feels right in the moment. And for the most part, this time of year is a lot of like calming, incense-y type of scents. For whatever reason, they just relax me. Like I like to kind of feel like I'm just in a hippie den. And if you can see, this smoke right now that is actually from my incense which is over here so you can see the smoke coming for whatever reason this one is really smoky anyway um so my incense thing is right here just on my table when you walk in you can see that stream of smoke coming up this one smells amazing i forgot what this scent is but it's not like typical it's i mean it's a typical incense smell but it's so fresh I just love it. I, mean, I love all types of incense, but this isn't like a patchouli churchy type of incense. It's just very, very fresh, really nice, almost like a sandalwood type of scent. I don't know. I love it. So that's what's going on in the front. So it's like the front entryway when you walk in. And then on the other side, I do have a candle and I have Bath and Body Works Paris Pink Champagne. I don't know, I just feel like this fruity is kind of complimenting the fresh. When I came home today, I was just really craving like a sweet, tart, juicy, fruity type of scent. So Paris was actually the first one I picked out. And then I grabbed a nice fresh type of incense and then I went on with the rest of my candles. So I'll show you what else is going on here. So over here on one side of my living room, I have my Luminara going. Um, this is just a votive holder I need to clean. And then in my centerpiece, I just lit up this combination of this Ashland uh, Melt in Rose from Michaels. I've never tried their melts before, um, but I picked this up because it's a very light rose. I'm not a big floral person, but I do like the combo of like a rosy floral scent mixed with um, this vanilla cookie crunch, which I'm almost down to the end of. And this one is, I like this because it's just super light. It's not like overwhelmingly rose. So it's just a slight background note to that vanilla cookie scent. And they're actually blending really nice. This is my second day of this going. It's still strong, still kicking, and just beautiful. Moving on to the other side of the living room, but first I just wanted to show you these orchids because aren't they so beautiful? Um, when Dan got them for me, they only had one flower head on each stick, and that was three weeks ago. It was the week before Valentine's Day, so these have been here for three weeks, and they have just bloomed so much, and they're so gorgeous. Orchids are my hands down favorite flower. I just, anything tropical, I love. Um, they stay in like a lit room, like I have a window over there, but they're not directly in the sunlight. And the way you take care of them, these ones at least, I give them six ice cubes a day and I just put the ice cubes in the moss down there. And this is a hookah vapor. I don't know why that's there, but whatever. So these are my little babies. Ugh, they're so beautiful. They make me so happy. So over here um, on the other side of my couch, I have my other living room candle going, and this is a Veluspa candle in bourbon vanilla, I think that's called, French bourbon vanilla. This is one of my number one favorite Veluspa scents. It's super, super strong, um, and I've had it in the three wick, and then they have like that glass jar. It's like the size of a Bath and Body Works candle. It's two or three wick, I don't remember, but that's the other size um, I've had it in. But I just love these little tins. I think they're just so pretty and it looks so cute just sitting here on the side of my couch and yeah, super strong. It's like a very perfumey vanilla and just lovely. In my kitchen, I have this Brooklyn Candle Company or is it good? Good, yeah, 
good candle. That's, I don't know, it's from Brooklyn. Um, I have this guy going, and this is in the scent Fig. This candle is awesome. I've been burning these Brooklyn candles for three, three or four years now. Um, my husband got these for me for Christmas, whenever it was, three or four years ago. And that's how I found out about it. For a brief minute, they used to sell this at West Elm. I don't know if it was just, it was online, so maybe it was the West Elms and everywhere. I don't think it was just New York. But this company, uh, the people who make this, they're from Brooklyn and they're like local artisans. So every time there's a fair in the city, um, in New York City, we have a lot of Christmas fairs. There's like a big one in Grand Central, there's one in Union Square, and it's just where like these local artisans and people come to sell the, the things, whether it's food or products that they've made, but it's usually like mostly handmade stuff. So they are always at those Christmas fairs and that's where I buy these. Um, they do have a website here, goodcandlebk.com. I would definitely recommend checking them out. They're really lovely, complex flavor uh, scents, and they're so strong. And these things go forever. This is a pound, so I guess 16 ounces. It's just a medium-sized mason jar. But um, yeah, I've had this going for months, and I burn it for long periods of time. It says 50 hours. I think you get more than 50 hours from this. I mean, it goes way longer than a Bath & Body Works. And there's the single wick right there. It's just, I love their candles so much. I can't say enough good things about them. And it's always like hidden in the back of my door, of my candle jar, candle drawer, <laughs> candle cabinet. And I just forget about them because I try to savor them because they are expensive. I think they're 30 or 30 or 50, somewhere in there. So I don't buy many at once and I do try to savor them because they are strong. They do last a while. And this fig is just like a really nice earthy natural type of fig and it goes really well with the incense and more earthy type of scents I have going today I'm just oh I love it finally my bathroom which is so strong it's also scenting into my bedroom which is the next room over and the front part of my hallway so I that's why I don't have a candle in my bedroom today is party dress and this is just a really nice I, I don't know exactly how to describe it it's definitely like that, I don't know if it's like the jasmine that's in it or what it is, but I don't know, it's just a really nice scent. It, like, it's similar to, not really an incense, but like, I guess kind of in that family. Um, it's like a dry scent. I really don't know how to describe it. Party dress is like the worst possible name for it because it's not perfumey. It's more of like a relaxing spa type of scent to me. It does not make me think of a party at all or putting on a dress. It makes me think of like chilling or relaxing at home and like, I don't know, living the life. Like just literally kicking back and chilling. That's what this candle makes me want to do. So I don't know why it says party dress. And even like the hot pink wax, I just feel like the whole packaging of this candle does not match the scent whatsoever. But I really like the scent. I think it's really high end and really nice and just it goes really well. So it's balancing out my apartment nicely because the whole back end of my apartment smells of this candle. It's just the predominant note whereas the front of my apartment the incense is the predominant note and if you burn candles together with incense this is a great candle to mix with incense it goes really really well so that is it that is what I'm currently burning and these are really the type of scents that I like to play around with in February March vanilla fig more earthy type scents sandalwood herbal um, incense, anything like that, any of those kind of laid back scents. I guess what I'm saying is, I don't know, maybe I just kind of like my apartment to smell like a Woodstock concert. <laughs> I don't know. I just, hey, it's relaxing, whatever works, right? So that is it. That is my currently burning update for February. And I'll try to do one of these videos once a month because that's pretty much my taste kind of change and the sense that I'm playing around with change month to month. So I'll try to pop in in March with another update on this and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching.